this is a first for me. I rang the doorbell. It's, it said, wait, this is a first. Grubhub. I've been focused on Grubhub this afternoon after I completed a delivered delivery. I, a bolt delivery, I'm sorry. A bolt delivery. And I'll discuss that in a moment. Meet them in person and ask for their two-digit delivery code. This is the first time. So she was at the door with a dog. Door was open. I took a picture to be safe. Then this came up and I said, well, she goes, I don't have a code. And she even went to go get a phone. She said, did you take a picture? I said, yes, I will. And she was like, last time the food was delivered to the wrong address. But that wasn't my fault. They didn't offer me a two-digit code. And I was like, okay, ma'am, no problem. I'll just call them on the way to the next pickup. Not a problem. I wasn't going to make it more uncomfortable than it already was because she just wanted to grab our food and go. So she did take the time to look. She told me what happened. And I said, well, all the apps are trying to roll this out. You, you need to grab a code when you drop things off. Uber Eats, Spark's trying it. Now you got Grubhub. I wouldn't doubt if DoorDash is doing it. So, I, you know, they're trying to figure out how to have less errors. That's what they're doing. It says wait time has ended. Enter the code if you are able to get it from the customer. If not, continue without the code. Customer can't find code. No, they couldn't. She really did try. Where to find the customer's code. Here's where you can tell the customer to look if they say they can't find their code. They'll see their two-digit code on the delivery screen in their app. In their texts. They can also check their texts for a message from Grubhub with the code. Wow. That's crazy. They got to try something out. I'm trying to. Okay. They got to try something out. Got it. Continue without code. What happened? Tell us why you can't complete this order. Please include as many. I completed it. And, okay. This is why I didn't drive away. I have to back up. I'm happy this happened during the day, during the daylight, because I would be very upset if this happened at night for the first time. Wow, I really have to back up here. Hold on a moment. Nobody's around, good thing, but I still got to look and be safe. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. They're going to make me take a photo. But I already took one with my phone. Drop off photo completed comments. I took good thing I didn't drive away. Was not able to provide code. There you go. Swipe to deliver. At least that happened during the day. This morning, Delivered sent out a notification. This has happened before. Orders are available in your open order board. Check them out in your Delivered driver app. I went to go check it out. I went into the app. I tapped the order board and I said, yes, I'm interested. They put you in a queue. I mean, I had the phone in my hand. I was like half up. The phone was right there. I immediately, I'm, te I'm telling you 20 seconds, and I tapped, I was interested, and they never sent it back to me. They never sent it to the app for me to accept it. So that means someone beat me to it. I'm assuming that's what that means. That has happened before. So just because they're reaching out with a text like that, that don't mean that they're going to send it to you. First come, first serve. First interested, first serve. You hear me? Now, I'm glad I didn't ignore an offer 
that was sent to me from Bolt Deliveries a minute later and it paid 40 and change. So this came in through the text. Total of $21 bonus, $40.47. Pay for the pewter station order today. I grabbed it. And I was like, wow, I'm happy I didn't wait to see if Delivered was going to send me that offer. I was like, I'll, I'll do it. Now, this was in Manhasset. I took a chance. It's a little far. I wouldn't go to Manhasset. It was a Manhasset pickup, Valley Stream drop-off, unless it was $40 and up. And they just hit that. So I took it. I've been at that Peter station before. I go to Manhasset that once in a while because of the Peter station. So it wasn't bad because then I headed home after that and I ended up working Grubhubs, which now I'm still doing. I figured I'd complete a couple of Grubhubs on the way home. I'm waiting for an order. I have a feeling if I wanted to stay out, I would get more orders, but it's already 7.30 and I earned $70.00. And 19 cents with Grubhub today. And I am going to cash out. Yes, I am going to cash out. Because of $12.33 yesterday. I guess that's right. That is right. I will cash out. Cash it out, baby. Done. So I didn't do so bad today. I did start off the day with a $40 payout. So that's not bad. At least I broke a hundred. I didn't do so bad. I didn't push it. I did spend at least a couple of hours at the park. I did work on the video while I was walking around and stretching out. It was just too beautiful not to be outside. I've been pushing it. I haven't taken off a day from driving. Tomorrow's Friday since three weeks ago, Friday. That's a, that's a lot of days constantly driving a minimum of 40 miles a day and it just it's just so nice out that I want to force myself to get out and about because in the heart of winter I don't want to be out here in the heart of winter when it's freezing and it's cold and it's nighttime I don't want that so I'm kind of getting ahead I'm forcing myself um, I did accept a delivered delivery for tomorrow. The miles today, when I got into Belmore, I actually, I, I got a, um, a good bagel from a good bagel place today. And it was 32 miles when I got into Belmore from my home to Manhasset, to the pickup, to the drop off in Valley Stream. And then I drove to Belmore because I wanted to stay in that area. I got some grub hubs and then I went to the park and I started working on the video. I mean, it's just constant. And the miles, I, I, I believe it was 32 miles. That gives you an indication. If I'm saying Farmingdale, if I went to Farmingdale and delivered to Melville and came back, that's at least over 40, 45 miles. I should pay attention next time. I think it's more than that. So this was a closer deal. And it, 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 it paid at least $40. I felt that was worth my time. To go to Farmingdale for 30 bucks is not worth my time from my location, my home, unless I'm going to be out there. So de Delivered was sending me low ball offers, like too far distance. And that one in Queens for $82, I didn't want to go 19 miles from Westbury into Queens. It's not always worth the money. So I did accept one for tomorrow. I did okay today. I broke 100. And I will work the second half of the day tomorrow. And I plan on taking off Saturday. Unless I get an unbelievable offer. I need not to leave my home for a day. And But the weather is just... It's been so beautiful that I've been forcing myself, don't stay home, don't stay home, don't stay home. I don't just sleep around, you know, just sleep the whole day away. Very rare. I do that. But not to drive for one day. 
I could be doing other things, getting other things done. So I got off track a bit. Oh, let me show you my miles. Now I just looked at my QuickBooks and I want to discuss the miles. They pay a lot of money for miles and it's a great deduction. Let me, let's check it out. I'm in my QuickBooks and you see mileage for 2024 potential deductions, 11,000, 11 11.3 thousand. My business miles is 16,855. This is half of what I used to drive. When I first left my job, my W-2 job, for the first, I say three years, my potential deductions was over 20 grand. I drove the hell out of my Ford Focus. I drove that little car into the ground until the training started going. And I did. But my deductions, my potential deductions for three years in a row were just over 20 grand. So what do you think? Maybe I'll hit 13,000 this year. We're in November. And I'm planning on driving half that next year. I don't want to keep driving to earn steady part-time income. I would rather be shopping more and delivering or maybe doing something else. I did update my LinkedIn profile. So, you know, all in due time. This is where I'm supposed to be now. This is the way it is. Do you see 67 cents per mile? They're giving the deduction rate 67 cents. That's a lot. That's, I, I feel that's, that's pretty good. So at least I have a good deduction. Always deduct your miles because then you pay less taxes. Always take the miles, in my opinion. Until the next video clip. Bye for now.